last video that we got to react tonight and then we're going to switch over to college football uh the w court side let's see what they're doing with with the wnba now um personally for me uh i wish that they would have hopefully 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 they would have like wnba 2k with how like how much wnba has grown and everything like that obviously it's still not the bigger league but from what i've seen this season with angel reese and caitlin clark and like just the wnba as a whole maybe they could expand a little bit and maybe they could like expand the wnba and like 2k games and stuff like that uh just like you know just off uh you know from what i see this year so yeah that, that's all i gotta say uh obviously wnba 2k is a big stretch because i don't think that a lot of people will buy a wnba 2k game maybe um but i think that yeah and uh hopefully you know it could expand a little bit in i guess 2k25 so sabrina been balling i know bro sabrina been balling uh my favorite player in the wnba is arika gumbawale I don't know if uh, y'all know who Arika Gumbawale is. She played for uh, the Dallas Wings, and uh, she's from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So I gotta cheer for her. Uh, she is my favorite player in the WNBA. Uh, Kaitlyn Clark been balling. Angel Reese been balling. Like I've been watching uh, some of the like WNBA clips, and everybody been balling. People, a lot of people been like trashing the WNBA. And uh, I, I ain't gonna lie, I've been one of those people that's been trashing WNBA, but I've seen how they've been doing this season, and everybody been balling. So, um, yeah, AJ Wilson, balling. So, but yeah, let's get into this video, man. Four minutes, so let's go. Welcome back to another NBA 2K25 Courtside Report. Today, we will be diving into what's new in the W. I'm your host, Alexis Morgan, and with me today is Felicia Steenhouse, the senior producer on the W in NBA 2K25. Whoa, 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 whoa. His name is Felicia? All right, okay. All right. I, I, never, I never heard a dude named Felicia. That kind of caught me off guard. Oh, Felicia, <laughs> thanks for having her. me. I'm excited to talk the W with you. I'm excited to talk about the W as well. Let's talk about the WNBA season that's still going on right now. So many great games, so many good teams right now. Yeah, it's been fantastic. I mean, Asia, okay, Stewie, and even Nafisa Collier coming up this year, the level of competition has just been outrageous. The rookies and what they've been doing, it's just every night is an exciting battle. Last year, we introduced In Pursuit of Greatness, and there you were going against one legend, but this year, you're going against 23 of the greatest of all time. You're gonna okay. play through your career and hit GOAT moments along so the they, way. So they added the GOAT ride. stuff from my career last year to the WNBA career this year. Copy and paste, but nah, I, I kinda get it. it is, uh, hopefully they add more stuff to the WNBA to try and make people, you know, play the WNBA. Um, but I, I guess that's a start, you it's know. And pass each of those legends to become the greatest of all time. And obviously the greatest of all time is the end goal, but how does one start their journey? Exactly. After you create your player, the first thing that you're gonna need to do is separate yourself from this amazing rookie class. They There's still gonna got this same race to rookie of the year, and you're gonna need to battle your way there. New this year. I know Enrique, that game winning shot back to back uh, Huskies, Mississippi State for Notre Dame. Indeed. I'm glad you know Malik. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Notre Dame, Enrique Agumbo Wale. Yeah, that's my favorite WNBA player right now. Of all time, it's Sue Bird, but um, yeah, Enrique Gumbawale. Here are press conferences. And for the first time ever, your WNBA My Player is going to have a voice. 
After a pivotal loss, you might be reflecting and trying to build up your teammates or an amazing performance. You might be reaching out to fans. There's a ton of new content here that people are gonna love. I am so excited for the additions to the W Online this year. To start, we have a brand new environment. When you go into play what? three on three, you're gonna be surrounded by giant redwoods. The environment is just a lot. Okay, 2K. Uh... I get that 2K is trying to try something new, especially with the WNBA, but what the heck is this, bro? Why, why is it just like, it's a random court surrounded by a whole bunch of trees. First of all, you wouldn't create, uh, you wouldn't create a, a, a court just out in the woods somewhere, created like with a whole bunch of trees, unless you're just trying to be adventurous or something. But what in the uh, uh, all right? Let, let me let me keep playing, cause I, I I don't get it. And then another thing is that they don't have a a WNBA park. They only have WNBA online with the same like simple stuff. Like if you play online, you're not really playing for anything except for probably VC. But that's pretty much it. So that that's just what I think. So live and unlike anything you're going to find elsewhere in the game. And if you're familiar with the W Online, you know we like to do things different there. Uh, so people are really going to like this new environment. But if you're new, this mode is all about the community. It's about reaching a greatness that you can only get when you do it together. So every week, there's a stat goal for the community to hit. And if you can hit four out of the six weeks, everybody gets rewards. And your rewards scale based on how much you contribute to that, getting that goal. And every week along the way, you come back because there's amazing weekly rewards that you're gonna get for hitting stat goals. What are some of the other ways this community is contributing in NBA 2K25? From last year, we're bringing forward the Game Changers feature. So as you're contributing, if you're really putting in a lot of work and you're really contributing to the community, you're gonna get the Game Changer status. And Game Changer status, just like last year, you're gonna get exclusive in-game boosts and all kinds of rewards that are really gonna not only enhance your experience in the W, but all of your teammates as well. But this year, we've also added a mentorship feature. So if you're a Game Changer, you're gonna come in and have an opportunity to mentor a newer player coming in. So you're gonna give them a stat challenge and a boost to help them hit that. And if they hit that challenge, not only are they increasing their contribution to the community, but you're gonna get a boost to your contribution as well, which is really gonna help you reach those top tier rewards faster every season. Well, I love that it's all about community and I can't wait to join the community as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. And that's it for today's Courtside Report on the W and NBA 2K25. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. And thank you all to the game changers out there for making 2K24 so amazing. I cannot wait to get out in the Redwood Grove with you. We definitely can't wait and stick back here for more NBA 2K25 Courtside Reports. All right, man. <clears throat> so... I ain't gonna lie, I'm not gonna play the W. <laughs> but the one thing that I hate that 2K hasn't done yet, I think the W been in 2K for like two years now. Why is it so hard for 2K to just copy and paste my career into the W? Now I get it. I get it. Three years, my bad. Two, three years, whatever. <laughs> but. Why is it so hard for 2K to copy and paste my career into the W? I get no people, nobody is going to play the W, but I feel like if you add the same stuff that you have in my career into the W, maybe some people might play the W. Maybe some people want to play against Angel Reese or Kaylin Clark or Goomba Wale, Adria Wilson, you know? Like, they, I see that they're slightly improving some things, but I feel like, you know, they could just, like, copy and paste, hey, my career, let's add it into the W, so that way, like, if they want to create WNBA players, they can get the same feel, you know? 
that that's that's just me i get that if they did that the game would be a whole lot bigger but you know like we already got like super big games out, out anywhere you know just got to pay for extra storage <laughs> but but like i don't know that that's just what i what i think about uh the w like i said i'm not playing i'm pretty sure a lot of people isn't going to be playing the w anyway but 2k i just feel like y'all could just like copy and paste and um put like whatever features in my career into the w and y'all be all right it won't be a lot of people that you know uh <clears throat> it won't be a lot of people that play the game the game mode but i, I feel like they'd be all right you know that is it